So welcome back to the, uh, the channel uh, everyone and uh, today we are going to take a look at a company called Fermit Welding GB Limited who are situated in Ferry Lane, Raynham in a uh, RM13 uh, postcode and uh, Ferry Lane is maintained at public expense so we are uh, on public land whilst um, filming. Now, Fermit Limited was first established in London in 1904 by Goldschmidt Company. In 1919, Goldschmidt formed Electro Fermit GmbH in Essen, in Germany, to develop the market and <coughs> um, start again uh, to develop the market, the LU monothermic business and in 1958 Fermit Welding GB Limited was formed by Murex Limited and Electrofermit uh, GmbH based at its present location in Rainham Essex. Now Murex Limited was so, uh, subsequently taken over by BOC who later sold its holding in the company to the TH Goldsmith AG. In, two, uh, in the year 2000, uh, the company reverted to full ownership uh, by the uh, Goldschmidt Fermit Group, which comprises of over 20 companies uh, associated with the development, manufacture, distribution and technical support for the Fermit welding process. Now, I'll stitch in some details of the, uh, the Fermit welding process as well. Now.
thermic welding or TW uh, is a process that uses heat from an exothermic reaction uh, to produce uh, coal uh, coal essence between not sure how you pronounce that so coal essence between metals uh, the name is to De uh, derived from thermite, the generic name given uh, to reactions between metal oxides and reducing agents. Now, today the company remains a strategic supplier to the railways and continues to develop products and welding methods to meet the demands for continual improvement with investment in new production methods, research and development, on-site training, technical support and specialised contract services. Now there are three uh, directors of uh, the company. Uh, the three directors are Michael Cohen, uh, who resides in the UK, plus Dr. Martin Nieder, I think it's Nieder Kruger, and Paul Radman, who both reside in Germany. Uh, Mr. Paul Radman is actually an Australian, and he has actually and he has significant control of the company. Now the accounts are made up to the 31st of December 2021. Um, and are that of a small company so the information available is quite limited but I'll add a link into the description of the accounts uh, for you to have a look at so before we go and have a look at uh, thermal welding there's just something here that I uh, noticed uh, which is called the Crown Walkway uh, Living Wildlife um, Corridor uh, London Riverside bids 1000 trees initiative so it's welcome to the Crown Walkway uh, and the two new uh, native hedgerows. This small patch of land is safeguarded by the, the London Riverside bid for public use and to help preserve the area's rich nat natural habitats. Um, on each border, uh, to the left and the right, you'll see two new native hedgerows planted in March 2022, forming a living wildlife corridor. They will provide food, shelter and nectar sources for a wide range of insects, birds and mammals, helping to connect the habitats of rain and marshes and the rain and riverside. And uh, it's telling us to look out for the following insects. are grey wagtail, so look out for that. The brown banded carder bee, uh, the yellow... Uh, the, uh, the clouded yellow butterfly and as the hedgerows grow they'll be trimmed and maintained to create green sleeves as a backdrop along each side of the crown walkway improving the appearance of the site and its biodiversity value so yeah well done uh, London uh, London Riverside so let's have a quick walk down down here because it's quite uh, you now it's like a little bit a uh, bit different can't really see the head. Oh, nearly tripped over. It's good, isn't it? So be careful when you're walking along. So I don't know whether or not these are the natural. These here. So it looks like there's a uh, water down there. There's all reeds and everything. But let's have a little walk down. Doesn't uh, doesn't hurt. And I'll speed it up. Oh, a bird just went through there, but I didn't see what it was. So let's look out for these uh, these butterflies and birds, shall we? Yeah, so this is just a, a bee buzzing about there, but that's the uh, the one. Now this corridor links up Cold Harbour Lane and Ferry Lane. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, pretty much it. So it doesn't look like the hedgerows are really taken off yet. Might take a while uh, to grow. But uh, so what I do, I'll probably speed up this video, my normal walking along video. As I speed it up and uh, I'll pick it back up when we get to the, uh, the company we want to have a look at. Some uh, open storage yard lard for to let here. So if you're looking for some open an open storage yard, you can contact Emerson Property or Kemsley Property Consultants. Their details are there. You 
and the, the footpaths are quite well maintained for uh, council uh, council land, which is uh, good to see. Public land. So this is the uh, building. Looks like they're all closed up. Again, it's Saturday, so it doesn't look like there's anyone uh, anyone here. It says pull the gates uh, open. But I can see it's all uh, padlocked up, which is uh, which is good. Looks like a parcel has been just chucked over the fence there. Could someone reach that? I reckon they could, so it's not very good by the uh, delivery driver. There, yeah, let's zoom in so we can see. See what that is. So the building's quite interesting. You can see they've been here since the 1950s. So it's definitely got that 1950 architectural look and feel to it. There's a couple of silos at the uh, at the back on the side. When we get Beverly up, we'll be able to have a, a bit of a better look. And that's the uh, like kind of the front of the building. Looks very much like the front of a an old 19 old school building or a Tan Hill building. They've got a flag pole there, but they've got no flag flying. They've got visitor parking spaces all here. No electric charging points that I can see. In here, plenty of CCTV in operation. You see, with a some, I think, see bottles that are in a storage facility there. So, don't know what they are, them bottles. The good Zimwood site. Got a window open down the side there, so it's a bit of a security risk to potentially that. So has chem warning sign in there as well. But yeah, that's the uh the building. I don't think we're going to get into any interaction on this one. It is a Saturday, so it's very unlikely anyone's here, and it doesn't look like there's any security on site. So there's a sign up there. So it says who they are. I don't know if that zoom picks it up, but it says Goldschmidt Smart Retail Solutions and Fermit Welding GB Limited, a Goldschmidt company. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the building. So I think the only thing left to uh, to do really is have a look what this looks like from the back and what's down the sides. That is hidden out of public view. But yeah, interesting old uh, old building. Complete different to uh, like the, the the shell boxes that you uh, see on industrial estates now, which are probably a lot cheaper to to put up rather than a, a solid brick built building. Okay, guys, I'm going to get uh, Beverly up and uh, be back with you uh, in a few moments.
Okay guys, so that's the uh, <coughs> the flight of uh, this uh, site uh, sort of done. The uh, <coughs> controls got away me a bit uh, a couple of times uh, there, uh, getting a little bit too uh, cocksure me, uh, myself. So yeah, if you like that video guys, please give it a thumbs up, please give it a like, please give it a share. And uh, as always everybody, until the next time, have an absolutely fantastic day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.